this video is part of a series, be sure to check out the link in the description to the full playlist. And today we're just going to look at a simple command that will allow you to block uh, IP addresses both incoming and outgoing on your system using the ARP command. So what I'm going to do here is uh, to show you I can ping 192.168.1.102 which is my cell phone and I can ping it right now and if there are any services running on it I could access them such as web servers and whatnot but I can use sudo or be root uh, to use arp-s and then give it an IP address, in this case 192.168.102, and I can say on device zero, and I'll hit enter, and that is now blocked. I can now hit enter, and you can see that I cannot access, I cannot ping that device, but it works the other way as well. I'm gonna to try to show you this on my cell phone here. Uh, let me see. So here's my cell phone. You can see I've already uh, connected to the web server running on my desktop here. But if I click to refresh, it's not going to load because it, this device is being blocked. So we're blocking it in two ways. We can't get to this IP address, and this IP address is blocked from accessing us. Uh, so that's just showing you that it's not going to load. You can see the little blue bar at the top right there, waiting, trying to connect, trying to connect, and it's, 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 it's just not doing it. Um, so, and we still can't ping it over here. Uh, control C to kill that. If we want to unblock, we can use the ARP command again. Again, as sudo as root or root um, dash D, and then the IP address that we want to unblock 102. It'll hit enter, and now I can ping that device. There we go. Took a second. I'm able to ping it, and I should be able to load up on uh, on the screen as well. There. Let me try this machine. SSH into 192.168.1.111. And you can see that it prompts me to type in a password to connect to that machine. That's just a Raspberry Pi sitting on my desk behind me. I'll control C to get out of that. But if I was to use ARP S to block 192.168.1.111, um, oh, and then give it a hardware, in this case, zero for my first hardware device, uh, I can now try to SSH into that and I'm not going to be able to connect and it will work the other way around if they try to SSH in or connect to my web server or any other service I have running they are not going to be able to so uh, that's it and again to undo that sudo arp d and the IP address that you want to remove from your block list and now I should be able to try to connect to that so that's it I hope you found this useful in case you need to block some IP addresses both ingoing and outgoing I thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video think about becoming a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash millx1000 there should be a link in the description of this video even a dollar a month is is, is very appreciated um, if you can't support me financially think about liking sharing subscribing and commenting on this video uh, if you know of other ways of blocking IP addresses, there are other ways. Um, and other options for the ARPS uh, program, let me know in the comments below. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Be sure to check out the full playlist in the description of the video.